Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation here. We usually start here with chapstick, but we got stuff going on, so we're not going to do all that. The crazy, just because of my personality, can be entertaining. The troll, because self-acceptance, self-love, you can say what you want to say, slimness, chisel that, catfish people, blah, blah, blah. Embrace my features, enhance my features if I want to with face paint. And that's what I want you guys to get on this troll train with me. Just self-acceptance, self-love, embrace your features, love yourself for how you look. While we still like to play in face paint, you are perfectly you. Do not let the beauty community tell you what's pretty and what's not, what's glamorous, what's not. You're adorable, you're cute, you're beautiful inside and out. So if that sounds good to you, I'll show you what else we do here on this channel. This is another installment of The Goddess and the Troll because Megan is the goddess and I'm Dion, I'm the troll. And yes, I came up with that title. Yeah, I own it. That's right. So this video <laughs> is about our favorite drugstore affordable makeup. And so I'm looking at what I have here and I'm like, I could have some stuff. <laughs> I don't know if it's a favorite, but I used it for this look for the first time ever. The Lime Crime Astronomical Volumizing Vegan Mascara. So this was the box that I just opened today because I used it for the first time today. I did not have a bad reaction to it and I was so glad because it has a scent, like a chemical smell and I was just like, oh God. But my eyes did not tear, my nose didn't run. So I cannot say it's a favorite because it's my first time using it, but I do like the effect it gave my lashes. Look at them lashes. Look at these lashes and it didn't affect my sinuses so that's always a plus in my book favorite for real for real nyx retractable eyeliners these are all the colors that i have the black one when i do my upper inner rims it irritates my eyes but lower inner rims it doesn't so i'm going to put that here but these are all the other colors i have and i like these because i can use them for upper lash line if i want to but i don't i use these mostly for a base for my lower lash line and my upper and lower waterline which is your upper and lower inner rims these do not irritate my sensitive eyes i love them that's why i have all of these different colors and the price is hella good still on nyx there let me get it right let me read it suede matte lip liners these are all the shades i have let me make sure i'm not showing you duplicates i'm not showing you any duplicates i think i have two of alien which is the black one these are the different shades that i have in the nyx suede matte lip liners they're not gel liners they're not the smoothest ever but i use these for like if i'm doing a purple lip which i was going to use today and i forgot <laughs> And I have a thing for liquid lips, and so it's really not that big of a deal. But if you're into bullet lipsticks, use the same color lip liner to line your lips and fill them in, and then put on your bullet lipstick. And when your lipstick starts to fade, the color will be the same. Why? Because you're using a lip pencil that you filled in your lips with. That, that is, excuse me, the same shade as your lipstick. And so that is why I do have different shades. And also, if you put on your lip liner evenly you fill in your lips evenly you can just slap the gloss on top of it and just say you know the hell with using our lipstick so just put on a liner and lip gloss and so these are the different colors i have in that let me put these away let me send them back home you know what i have them in i know you don't i'm going to show you and you guys are going to think that's a good idea this is a toothbrush holder. So this is one half, this is the other half. And I have my lip pencils in it because then it keeps them from falling over where they're stored. See that? So <laughs> everything serves a purpose here. I do also really like, we're still talking about lips. I really like the Ofra, oh, uh, what is the title? Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. These... If you haven't tried them and you do like liquid lips, I'm trying to get it where the lettering isn't showing like that because I want you to see the colors. These usually end up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which makes these like less than 10 bucks. I think like 11 bucks or something like that. And so that's when I purchased them. When I first I got the black and the red, of course, 
And I'm like, you know what? Let me get this one. I thought it was going to be more dual comb than it is. It's more sheer than I thought it was going to be, but it's nice. This one, I do need a lip liner with it. So it's kind of like, eh. But I really love this formula of the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lips. On my lips today, also drugstore, affordable makeup is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is Vampy Violet. I have a thing for dark lips, as you can probably tell from most of what I showed you. Sorry for the clinking. Um, I have this on maybe 30 minutes. And it's starting to wear on the inner portion of my lip. This does not last long. And it sucks because I tried the Prep and Prime again from MAC. And this shit don't work. Um, yeah, Honey Boo Boo that was working and they lied to me. But anyway... Anyway, yeah, so I do like this, but it's not, it's long wearing where it doesn't fade. <laughs> like the outer portion of my lip, it'll stay until I take it off. But the inner portion of my lip, you know, this right here and it's like, yeah, so. But the Ofra ones don't do this as quick as the e.l.f. ones. What I found that I love is shocked even me. I won this in a giveaway. And I'm like, where have I been? LA Girl. Keep it playful. Palette. And this one is in downplay. I love, sorry for the glare, the matte shades in here. I have not used the shimmers yet. I don't know when I will. I'm going to try them. But they look glittery to me and my eyes don't tolerate glitter particles and stuff that well these two just look like a shimmer these two look glittery but i've used these five shades they are so smooth and buttery they they're pigmented opaque i think it's the word now <laughs> and they blend really easily and they layer well so like these mattes oh my gosh i'm like ellie girl what and also, this Wet n Wild palette. This is one of the color icons. It has 10 shades in here. This one, I realized that I don't particularly care for the shimmers in the icon, Wet n Wild palette, color icon, excuse me. They don't really show up well, and then there's a lot of fallout. So I'm like, why are you falling out when you're not there in the first place? But I do really like the mattes. And so what I decided was, is if I do get more of the color icon wet and wild palettes i'll get the one that has more mattes than shimmers and this is one of them because this one only has one two three shimmers and so i can just pop that in a corner and just call it a day versus trying to put it on my lid but these mattes perform really well also but i do prefer the la girl mattes a whole lot better and this i think i think less than 10 bucks and sometimes it's like buy one get one half off and then if you have a coupon child please yeah so those are my drugstore favorites i'm looking to see what else i have drugstore favorite garnier micellar water and even though i know a lot of people are getting away from them neutrogena makeup removal wipes i use these in combination with the micellar water i'll take one out put my cellar water on it and squeeze out the excess and that's how I remove my eye makeup and because this is saturated with my cellar water there's not a lot of pulling there's no tugging it just takes it right off a couple minutes my eye makeup is gone um and that, that's that's it for <laughs> Woo! yeah I'm looking at something but this isn't really a drugstore brand but um yeah so that'll be it for key tips <laughs> <laughs> for teary eyes so that's it for this video yeah that's it and chapstick I know it's backwards on your end so I'm gonna end this video so that's it. oh sitting right in front of me and I forgot so you see that like that don't mm -mm. <laughs> fourth ray brand I'm sore I'm sorry Fourth Ray Beauty Do It Hydrating Hyaluronic Mist. I can't say if it makes my makeup last any longer, and it doesn't say the setting spray. It's just a hydrating mist. This I like for, because sometimes I just go crazy with the loose powders, okay? I know I do. So if I'm looking dusty, I'll spray this on. It has a scent to it, but it's not bothersome. 
it smells to me like a cucumber salad yeah but then the smell dissipates afterwards and then like a half hour later i'll be like what's that smell and i'm like oh that's that spray so it comes and goes i guess depending on where i turn and where the wind is blowing i don't know it's just freaking weird but i love this this the mist is really fine um it doesn't spit at you and you don't have like droplets on your face i like how it sprays I like how it makes me not look ashy when I put on too much powder. Um, and then there's sometimes when just during the day and I'm just like, oh, I'll just spray it. It doesn't have an expiration date on here for after you open it. And so I emailed in to say, okay, when does this expire? Like it doesn't have the little icon with the number in it to tell you, you know, how long it's good for. So they said six to 12 months. So I'm like, okay, so... Well, I wrote back, thank you. But in my mind, I'm like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve months. And so for the price, though, I think it's less than thirteen dollars. It might be the ten or twelve. For the price, though, I'll just dump it every six months. I'll toss it every six months, whatever I don't use, because um, it's not like it's like a thirty or forty dollar spray. But I do really like it enough to where if I do still have some in here after six months. I don't feel like I'm wasting money throwing it away. So that's really it for this video. You will see me in the next one. Let me know what some of your drugstore favorites are, especially eyeshadows, because I will try eyeshadows. Face products is iffy because my skin is so weird. And even some eyeshadow palettes I have issues with too. Um, but I'm more likely to try eyeshadow than like a new foundation or a primer. Uh, yeah, so we're going to leave that there. So thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video. And make sure you check out Megan's channel. I will link her information down below. And yeah, I just had a hiccup and I kept it in. <laughs> I am so weird. So thank you guys for watching and you really will see me in the next video. Thanks.